Hello, welcome to Ekede, where we train future civil and structural engineers. My name is Fashe Ochet. Today, we want to see how we can learn how to model our uh, sorry, how to load our slabs. Now, many young engineers, as they are coming up, they are confused on how to load their slab. Though some might have been trained on how to model, they can model perfectly well, but when it comes to loading, and you know that your loading is very, very important when it comes to structural designs. If you load wrongly, it can lead to what? To collapse. So therefore, we want to learn how to load our slab when it comes to residential. So this structure that you are seeing is for what? It's a residential building. So therefore, how do you load this your slab? It's very, very important. So what we are talking about is how to load your slab for residential and hostel. Now, what? which tool are you going to use? Which tool are you going to use? For example, let's come here. Let's look up our slab. Let's pick our slab. Now, looking at this place, looking at how do you go about it? How do you go about this place? Now, let me show you. Now, here, there's something like, did not write residential, there's not write a residential, and did not write a hostel. Then, how do you know which one to pick? And when it's come to your dead load, when it's come to your dead load, what do you consider before you put in your what? Your dead load. So, all of this, we are going to be looking at them on this training. Are we together? So today we want to learn how we can load our slab for residential and also for hostel. So therefore follow me and let's see how this slab can be loaded. So don't be confused. That is why Ekidel is there for you. So in case you have not subscribed to our Ekidel channel, I will advise you to actually subscribe and also if this video benefit benef you are benefiting from this video, I will say you should give this video a thumbs up try and like this uh, this video and we also have a mentorship class where we train specially beyond just here so therefore let's go there and see how we can model this sorry how we can load our slab for this residential at the same time use it to train you on how to load for when it comes to hostel hostel building because your architect might give you a drawing on what on hostel so when you come to put a structure you'll now be looking for under your life load, you'll be looking for where there's hostel and there's no hostel there. So which of those life load are you going to pick for your hostel? So therefore, let's go there and see how that can be done. Thank you. All right, welcome back. Now, as I've said, we want to learn how to load your slab for residential and also for hostel. In case you're, you're a young engineer or you're also, you have been practicing, you can also learn from this and also to invite other uh, young engineers to watch all these videos on Ekidel channel YouTube. So therefore, today we want to learn how to load our slab for residential. After your modeling, proper modeling, good and fine, there's a need for you to load your slab. And as I've said, loading slab wrongly can also lead to what collapse of a, of your structure. So therefore, how do you load your slab correctly for residential and also for hostel? Because there's something I will be showing you, which in the course of picking our life load is not being written as what hostel and cannot be seen uh, residential so how do you know which one to choose for your what for loading of your your slab so therefore let's go there so now now i want to load this slab now so what do we do you come to your concrete members once you are there come to what to your slab and click now this is it now the reason why you are seeing this one is because I, what I just what I did was on cantilever, so therefore it's going to be under type. Let it be what type one. You see it now. So under your type, I said what? Let it be type one. Once it's type one, once it's type one, then what you need to do now is to check your concrete so slab thickness. So my slab thickness for this one is one fifty. It's one fifty. It's one fifty. And this one I'm using one fifty is because based on BS code, this slab is not more than what the BS code rules. So BS code rules. So therefore, on that one, you might also produce video on how you must know how to panel your slab to what to conform to what BS code. So that is that. So therefore, how to load your slab is what we are concentrating on. That is why I, I was saying I was saying that you should enroll on what Ekidel channel. So therefore, now I'll enroll on Ekidel mentorship rather. So therefore, my slab thickness is one fifty and my concrete cover is what twenty five. That's for me. Concrete cover is what twenty five. Slab uh, thickness. 150 so now it's now good to what to loading now looking at this place let's assume it's like this everything's like this everything's like this so therefore on that dead load though if you come here you see some parameters for flat flat roof you can see it for rooms you can see it 
and also for terrains or back corner you can see it and also for lower this in all of them you can see it but leave it under what under value so therefore now under your dead load this you don't forget we are talking about what residential and hostel so we want to load our residential the same value we are using for residential is also what we are going to use for hostel so therefore but which one to pick is what i'm going to show you now so therefore for your dead load you know that your dead load your dead load ideally is what one kilonewton one kilonewton per meter square or 1.2 so some use one one kilonewton per meter square some use a 1.2 so but it's one our advice is use what 1.2 kilonewton per meter square but not only that if i put in my 1.2 1.2 isn't it my 1.2 under my dead load then don't forget partition load so partition load is 0 0.5 so if you add 1.2 plus uh, 0 0.5 it will give you what it will now give you 1 point what 1.7 so if you now decide to use 1.7 or 1.5 anyone you use between this range is perfectly okay it's perfectly what okay i'm using 1.5 because in this structure there's no much of a uh, of loads this is residential there's no clouding and all of those things so this is what residential assuming there's clouding uh -huh, but there's no clouding so this is res residential now now using what i'm using what 1.5 as my what as my dead load and in case your own as i've said you want to use 1.7 you're perfectly okay you're perfectly what okay 1.5 1.7 is very very okay so now this is where we're now going so that's for dead load when it comes to your residential now let's look up for life load and now right click you see i first of all click then and right click so now if you look at this place if you look at this place you can see general domestic use you can see residential communal area with limited use so use it now so and there's nothing like hostel if you go through it use your eyes let's go through it together if you can see anything like hostel there's no hostel here no hostel here so how do you know which one to use when it comes to your residential and well, hostel so therefore i want to say that when it's for residential residential pick this first one that called general domestic use what i say general what domestic use so i'll click so you can see it now then i'll begin to do what to enter to enter my what my slab i will together that is that then when what about when it comes to hostel which one do you use which one do you click now if it's hostel if you hostel then the one you are going to use for your life load is what we call what domestic uh, dormitories which i can see bedrooms and dormitories if you pick on general domestic use it's still okay but what you pick is what to, just come and click on though they're having the same value so i'm trying to show you that when it comes to hostel it's also the same thing as what dormitories so don't be confused that ah, which one is dormitories again so bedroom and dorm dormitories is what you can also pick for your what for your hostel so when you want to build a uh, design for a hostel you can click on under your life load you can click on what dormitories bedrooms and dormitories when you are uh, designing for uh, residential for housing housing and all of that you click on what on general so therefore therefore and the same thing with your what with your life load sorry your dead load so the same value for your dead load for your uh, residential the same value for your life for your dead load for a uh, hostel so that is that so now, now that now that i've done this one what do i need to do i begin to do what enter my slab in all of them so you can see i'm entering my slab so i've loaded them so i'm entering them now I've i'm entering them now i'm entering them now i'm entering them now so that is that okay i think that's a sorry in case there's a host uh, what do you call it where your stake is i just use one as example where your stake is is that's where that place you don't put a what you don't put a your slab you don't put your slab my stake is i think it's around here this is my stake is is this is where my stake is is so my stake is is from here to this place it's from here to this place so that is that so let me show you from there my stake is is somewhere here it's around here so now for me to do that so that's why i also or i left it for your training so you can click on any of these right click click and right click and come to property and then let me do this to this place good so therefore since this is one is done i can now say property or let me go to where i was doing it i was showing you so sorry so now let's click on this one and use my property and use my property and then click here so now this is it 
so you can see it so this place now is my staircase so that is that on how to load your slab for residential and also for hostel so that you not see hostel there you should not don't be confused so i should just show you how to how to do what to load your slab when it comes to residential or hostel both the life load and also your your dead load so i've shown you that so as i said you come to this place click on slab and then your slab thickness 150 then concrete cover 25 and come to this place your dead load 1.7 and i've told you why it's 1.7 or use 1.5 all the same but when it comes to life load when it comes to life load i told you that residential you pick what your general domestic use but when it's hostel under your life load you pick on what bedroom and what dormitories so and after that then you begin to insert your what your slab so this is how to load your slab for residential and um hostels so thank you very much god bless you to we meet next time on how how we can load how we can load our slab when it comes to um shopping plaza there are different between shopping plaza and shopping mall so in that place there's nothing like shopping mall so how do you know how do you and there's a place in that place where you call up with let me show you let me please show you let me show you let me show you where's my slab sorry where's my slab okay let me show you sorry under load under life load then you can see there's nothing like the only place you can see what is shopping area and if you go and use this place for shopping plaza it's that's over i mean over overloading overloading you don't use this one for shopping plaza and which one do you now use for shopping mall and which one do you now use among this place for shopping plaza so all of this will be known to you in our next video on how to load your slab on shop shopping plaza and the shopping mall so that is that till i see you next time in our next video on how to load your slab i remain your instructor engineer fash so thank you very much and god bless you till then i remain your friend and your brother so in case you have not subscribed to this video i will say please do that and subscribe and also like this video and also invite your friends in ekdel we don't hide our knowledge that's why we are out to do what to solve engineering problems so that we can make this world a better place for all of us when it comes to what to engineering so don't hide your knowledge therefore don't hide your source of knowledge which is what your ekdel to so introduce your friends who are also engineers who want to become good just like you when it comes to what structural design thank you very much god bless ekdel god bless you all thank you